Hello everyone, my name is Watson and today we're going to go find out if we can add a fiber optic link between our PoEIP camera system. So a PoEIP camera system, we have our power source equipment, which is this PoE injector, and our power device, which is this PTZIP camera. So the, the PoE injector receives the data from our NVR here, puts power to it, and then transmits PoE signals to our IP camera. If we want to add a fiber optic link between it, let's take a look at what a fiber optic link is first. So the fiber optic link is a section of the transmission which we use uh, optical signals instead of digital signals. Traditional Ethernet cables is transmit digital signals and if we want to use fiber optic link we're going to have to figure out how to set up fiber optic link. So the fiber optic link is usually made of five components uh, which are our fiber optic cable no doubt. Our fiber optic cable is a specially designed cable to transmit uh, laser signals which is the fiber optic signals. The optical signals they will bounce like lasers on the inside of these tubes, these cables, and the inside is like plastic uh, tubes which will help us bounce these laser signals towards its destination. And these are m mostly specially designed and it is not that easy to terminate so maybe when we get it we get those factory terminated fiber optic cables. Now that's the first and the other two are in two groups. The first group is our SFP modules. They stand for small form factor, plug form factor pluggables. They are used as transceivers, which they transmit data and receive data at the same time. It depends on which way it is going. So usually they come into with different color codes. Different color codes means they have different frequencies, so that you can imagine with different frequencies, they will never be on the same lane. So when it's going, the data is going back and forth in the network, they will not crash each other and create traffic. That is for its ben our benefit. So the transceivers, they, the SFP modules, they act as two things and the last two things that make up a, a fiber optic uh, network is what we call com media converters. These are three common type of media converters fast cabling carries. So the first one here is a single um, one input one output media converter. This is the Ethernet media converter which will help us convert the signal between digital and optical. So they convert the signals mutually and this one is a little bit more special. It has two output ports for Ethernet cables but everything else is bas basically the same. And this one is our outdoor one input one output media converter. So they all connect, have one part that connects to the Ethernet cable which usually will be acting as receiving the data or transmitting the data and then they have the SFP module which fits with our SFP modules, these SFP ports. So that's basically what these converters are used, to, used for. And the outdoor is designed with PoE features so when we power up the outdoor media converter it is PoE enabled and we can directly power our IP devices with the PoE's feature. So Today when we're going to use, we're going to imagine we're setting up this IP camera outdoors. So we're going to have to put the, use one of these outdoor media converters. And luckily if we're going to use this, we don't need to find the power outlet for the IP camera. So the fiber optic link will be replacing the section where the data transmits to our terminal device. In this case, it's going to, it's going to replace this white Ethernet cables plug. And when it replaces, first we're going to have to do is disconnect it. And since we're going to dis when since our PoE injector is not necessary anymore because we're going to use fiber optic link, we're going to take the injector away. And now we have our Ethernet cable right here. So first of all, this is going to the first part of our fiber optic link is going to be like at our house so we're going to just use one of these small one input one output media converters for our convenience and then of course we need to let get power for it it has normal 12 volts right here so after we plug in the 12 volts adapter
can see the indicators are on. Only the power is on because now the fiber optic link is not set up. And then on the other end, we're gonna use the outdoor one. So we're gonna simply place it here first. Now we're gonna start to apply the fiber optic cable to our home network system. So this one has two, uh, two cables on each end and you can imagine this is as a dual lane fiber optic cable. If we want to set up only one lane, we're gonna have to remember carefully that we need to use the corresponding uh, lane. You can see that they have uh, letters coded on it so we don't miss, mess it up. So we're gonna pick A for, for today's connection. We're gonna use A on one end, get any fiber SFP module we want and plug it into the media converter. So this is one end and the other end, same choosing line A, plug it into SFP module and then inside the media converter. So when we're operating these, we'd better make sure that we plug in the power source first, then we plug in the power source to our electric outlet it's for safety. And now you can see the indicator is on our outdoor media converter is on as well. This means this, connect, this media converter is online now. And we're going to simply check and see that the link indicator are, all, are both on. This means this fiber optic link is currently set up and then that's our last step. We're gonna use an ethernet cable to connect our media converter to our POEIP camera. So as I said, this media converter has POE features so our camera should receive the power and now it's self-diagnosing. Shortly, we will see the image show on our screen right here. Okay, so now you can see there is a live video image on our screen right here. This is the camera's real-time video footage, and this means this whole connection is thorough. Now, with a fiber optic link, we can reach further places with faster network speed. So if we want to exchange, uh, replace the middle transmission with a fiber optic link, that's totally okay. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys for watching today. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.